Now that we have thought about new products, let's talk about benefits. Benefits are very important to the customer because the customer doesn't buy on logic. They don't buy on features. They buy on emotional benefits, how it makes them feel, how it makes them look, what's important to them. We also use benefits in a number of different ways. We'll use them when we develop our keywords, we'll use them when we develop our landing page, and we'll use them when we do our promotions. Um, so again, they're very important. Spend some time, be a little creative, figure out what you're, what's in it for your customer. And that is the main question. You know, we are all emotional creatures. I mean, could you even tell me how many megabytes your computer has? But you could tell me what you do with your computer and how, how it allows you to do everything you want to do. That's what's in it for you. Um, emotional products, you know, that's how we make a feel. And those are the benefits we're really looking for here. Here's an example which I took out of our Principles of Marketing textbook. If you look it over, uh, the first part would be a promotion written with the features. As you can tell, it's kind of blah, 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 just 10 calories, blah, 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 blah. You fall asleep before you get to the end of it. But you read the second part. Instantly, you know the target market. You know what it does for them. You know how it makes them feel. So it's a great example of using a, a short little promotion, but use saying it in terms of benefits rather than features. Here are some other little examples where I give you the physical feature and the emotional benefit. You know, again, you know, like I love the heated seats. My wife will never buy another car without heated seats. And it's not because, you know, they're warm. It's that, ah, feeling. It's the way it makes it feel. Another good example is four-wheel drive. You know, we live in a rural Vermont. Everybody's got to have four-wheel drive. But it's really not for getting through the snow in the winter, which everybody says. What is it really for? You know, for playing playing in the mud with your friends or for hauling all your toys to the lake or the mountain and things like that. Here are some of the big benefits. You know, Americans are crazed with health and looking younger. You know, money, security, convenience. You know, we're all time crunch, so anything that can save us time is huge. Uh, politicians need power. You know, comfort, something that makes us feel better. Fun, excitement, relaxation, anything to improve ourselves. And the really big one, image. How we think other people see us is a huge benefit. Here's another way to look at benefits. This is a little bit more business to business, but you apply Maslow's hierarchy of needs uh, to benefit. Certain products fit in certain categories a little bit better than others, but the basic theory is you have to meet the lower level, uh, level needs before you can get to the higher level needs. Here's some more example. Automobiles are great because if we all just, you know, bought on logic, we'd have the least expensive econo boxes possible. But hey, it's your ride, it's your image. You know, it's what you have to be seen in. What I always like to do during class is ask people, who wants to drive a minivan? But also think of how you communicate with people on social media. Let's take Snapchat. Um, it's a communication tool. There's hundreds of different ways you could communicate. You could even write a letter. But what is it? It's where your friends are. It's that belonging. It's being part of the fun crowd. That's the real benefit of something like Snapchat. And we'll look at other different social media, depending upon who you're going to communicate with. That's who, that's where you want to target your benefit. Another example, which I thought of a few months ago before volcanoes started erupting was, you know, taking a trip to Hawaii. What's in it for the hotel? Do you sell the room? Does it have a, uh, uh, a mini bar in it and a nice bathroom? No, you're selling 
romance, sunsets, long walks on the beach. So that's it. Have fun, and I will talk to you later.